what is up everybody it is a new month so you know what that means it's time to see what new games are dropping for us in november and we've got a lot of really good games to really have some fun with the end this year off and i can definitely say these last two months are going to be very interesting with a good variety of games for us to enjoy so let's not waste any more time let's look at the new games coming out in november at number 10 we have sonic frontiers sonic comes back to us with a new game and with some new moves to show off in search for Chaos Emeralds, Sonic discovers Starfall Islands, and you have to uncover a mystery going on around here. Now, you'll have a skill tree system to learn new moves to take on new types of enemies as you travel across different biomes on these islands. Graphically, this game looks great, and I honestly like that they're adding a combat system and giving us some new moves. It definitely makes this game stand out from the previous ones. And the open world combat, is i know a lot of people are a little bit worried about this but i'm willing to give it a try and see how well it plays out but from what the gameplay i've been seeing it still gives me that vibe of sonic so i'm hoping this game turns out great like i said hopefully it turns out good for the franchise and who knows maybe we may get another open world type sonic game sonic frontiers is set to release november 8th at number nine we have gungrave gore now we have a third person shooter that lets you cause as much chaos as we can. Going on a path of vengeance, you play as Grave, mowing down everyone in your path to take down a group that will stop at nothing from taking over the world. Now this game looks gory and amazing at the same time with its graphics and shooting and the ability to cause so much destruction on the screen at the same time. I am definitely looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on and playing it. I don't know if I'm going to review this one or not, but I definitely plan on getting this one and just having some fun with it. Gungrave Gore is set to release November 22nd. At number 8, we have Evil West. In this third person action adventure, you play as a vampire hunter trying to stop a growing threat in the wild west of the US. Now you'll be able to beat down and blow away monsters with a wide range of weapons and melees that can be upgraded over time and some very nice visuals. Now you can play the game either solo or with a friend, which in my opinion is a big plus. I Like I said, I really like how the visuals look for this game, mixing in a Wild West with a sci-fi theme together. It definitely looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. And this is another title I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on. Evil West is set to release November 22nd. At number 7, we have Die by the Blade. Now this is a unique fighter where you have your honing your own skills to pull off the perfect block, parry, and strike to win. Now this is a 1v1 type fighter where one strike means death. So you have to time all your moves perfectly to survive. With a mix of a cyberpunk and traditional Japanese themed environments along with customizing your character and their weapon, it gives it its own aesthetic, its own look. Now, this game will have a solo campaign, a versus mode, multiplayer online, and rank, so it will give you a lot to do. And if you are definitely great in this game, you have a lot of bragging rights for it. Now, in my opinion, this game has the potential to stand out from other fighters with its one-hit kill concept, and I can see some competitions and some even esport levels forming around this game if it gets the right support it needs and it gets a good, good community back in behind it. Die by the Blade is set to release November 3rd. At number 6, we have My Fantastic Ranch. Now you'll be able to manage and raise your own dragons and unicorns in this bright and colorful art style game. You'll create your own ranch, raise creatures, give lessons to riders, and more while increasing your reputation, giving you access to more and exciting things to do. Now this looks like a great game for gamers of all ages. And don't have much more to say about this one. My Fantastic Ranch is set to release November 17th. At number 5, we have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. A new installment of Pokemon is coming to us with a few new changes. For the first time, having a different professor depending on which version you get, exclusive Pokemon just to this title as well as transforming legendary Pokemon are just some of the new things to expect. Now you'll have a few different paths to travel down depending on the type of adventure that you want, along with some good classic Pokemon battles along the way. 
Now the art style is very nice and polished for this one. And it should be great if you have the OLED version of the Switch. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is set to release November 18th. At number 4 we have Just Dance 2023. Our new entry into the series is coming with new features to let players dance to their heart's content. With a new online multiplayer feature, you can play with up to 5 other players online no matter where you are. An improved interface to get you into dancing much quicker and of course new songs to show your moves off. I think this new feature will be a big hit with the game and it just might get more people into playing it. Just Dance 2023 is set to release November 22nd. And number 3 we have Desperate Ballad Vostok. Now this is a bullet hell intense action game for our VR gamers. You play as a contract killer in a cyberpunk like Soviet Russia taking down an organization. You have 46 different handcrafted scenes that cause a lot of destruction and have epic shootouts in it. Now, I most definitely love the art style of this game and it gives me vibes of Time Crisis uh, arcade shooter games. I don't know why, but it just gives me that vibe of it. But I'm looking forward to trying this one out in VR and just having some fun with it. Desperate Vala Vostok is set to release November 3rd. At number two, we have Val VR. This is another VR shooter for our VR lovers, and this one is a 5 vs 5 tactical shooter, all in VR. Now you'll be able to work as a team to complete objectives, win matches, challenge one another in 1v1s, and other mini games to enjoy in this game. And you'll be able to use the environment to your advantage with jump pads, zip lines, and a lot more as well as customizing your character. This game will be coming out early access, so I would definitely be keeping an eye on this one and seeing how it develops. And with it being a tactical shooter, not meaning a lot of tactical shooters in VR right now, it definitely has the potential to like be blown big, even almost esports. It may definitely get VR the the limelight that it's been looking for. But we'll have to wait and see. Veil VR is set to release November 17th. And then number one, you know this one, you know this one that a lot of people have been waiting for, God of War Ragnarok. We're continuing the story of Kratos and his son as they are preparing for Ragnarok as Ragnarok approaching. Kratos has new moves to show us as well, some new weapons to rip and tear his opponents apart with. In this one, we'll now have access to all nine realms, fighting monsters and gods, testing your skills, going through each realm, and just seeing how the story progresses. Now, graphic wise, this game looks breathtaking. It definitely looks like they honed in on the detail of this one. And it looks like it'll be a visual enjoyment. And it's gonna be interesting because we're gonna see how this concludes because this is supposed to be the conclusion for this arc of Guard of War. There's not supposed to be a third one. If you know a lot of God of War games, there was always like three games in it before they change to something else. But we'll see how this plays out and, and sees. God of War Ragnarok is set to release November 9th. And that's just some of the games we got coming out this month. There's a bunch of more games coming out that I didn't even add on here. Well, I wanted to add, but it would have been over 10. But definitely a lot of games to look forward to. But let me know in the comments in the, uh, below which games you're looking forward to. And if there's a game coming out I didn't mention, let me know. And as always, if you guys enjoy these videos, hit that like. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I do videos like this every month. I'm doing more gaming news videos. Of course, I always do reviews, trying to do more trailer reactions and more. Definitely hit me up on social media if you want to see what I'm up to doing or if you want to just talk to me about gaming or anything. I love talking about gaming, so be prepared for that. And as always, you guys can catch me streaming on Twitch, playing a bunch of different games and just having fun with it. But this is Frodo, and I will catch you guys later.